Ladies, welcome to the Unpreferred Bible Study. I'm so glad that you're doing this. If you're doing this with some friends or by yourself, I know that this is going to be a journey that will open you up to the truth of God concerning you, especially in those moments where you felt unpreferred. So I'm excited that you're here. And before we get started, I wanted to just take a few minutes to kind of prepare. It's like when you're going on a journey, you, I don't know if you do this, but I sometimes need to because I forget things a lot. So I have my checklist of what I need to pack, what needs to be taken care of, cleaning the house, all of these to-do lists so that when I go on a trip, I'm at peace, but I also know that I've prepared well. And then when I come back, I'm coming to a clean home and things hopefully in order. So I just want to talk a little bit about some of the prep work before we get on this journey. And that's what this introduction is about. So we're going to spend, depending on how you do this, four sessions or four weeks or however long it takes you to do this study. But we're going to spend some time going over four sessions and looking at different um, characters in the Bible and how they had their moments where they felt unpreferred and how God came through. And in that just shows how he operates or what he does in those moments when people feel unpreferred. So there are three things as you take a journey, take this journey that I want you to keep in mind. The first thing is participation. I want to encourage you to please participate. If you're doing this by yourself, then make sure you're participating by listening in to, those vi to the videos when you watch them and answering the questions as much as you can. If you're in a group, do a group discussion. Talk about just the things that have come up as you're watching the video sessions, what stood out, what resonated, what you didn't know and what you need to do more study on, but participate. And the second thing is engage. Not only do you participate, but engage. It's one thing to watch the videos and answer the questions, but when you engage, you're actually making a commitment to not only do the devotionals, but then to also do the activations. I've done a lot of Bible studies and honestly, they are all phenomenal. But I have learned in my journey that my aha moments, if you will, or my moments of revelation, deliverance, or just comfort actually come from when it's just me, in my Bible with the Lord in the devotional moments. So don't skimp on that. But then also the activations that we're going to talk about at the end of each session reinforces, allows us to practice what you will learn during the devotionals and during the video sessions. So please participate and engage, engage by doing the activations and also doing the devotionals. And finally, accountability, participate, engage and accountability. Accountability is key. I don't know if you're like me and maybe you're not, which is a good thing for, the, for what I'm about to share, but there's sometimes I start something and life happens and I don't finish it. But this is a short Bible study designed so that it could be done quickly. But then also I've learned that when there's someone holding you accountable, asking you if you've done the devotional, asking if you've actually done the activation, that actually helps. So if you're doing this in a group, you all need to hold each other accountable. If you're doing the study by yourself, then my encouragement is to find a trusted friend that can call you, can text you and say, tell me about what you're learning, or did you do your devotionals, or, and or did you do the activation? So before we start, those are three things I want you to really consider, number one, Make a commitment to engage, to, excuse me, to participate. Make a commitment to engage, so do the devotionals and the activations. And then number three, accountability. Find a trusted friend, or if you're in a group, people that can hold you accountable. I'm excited about doing the study with you, and, and I'm just so grateful for you. So if you are excited and ready to get into this journey with me, then let's get right into it. So we'll move on to session one.